The goal of this video is to demonstrate the method for the isolation and identification of RNAs and protein components of ribonucleoprotein complexes from cell extracts using immunoprecipitation methods. Hello, my name is Garrett Dunn, and I'm a graduate student in the Molecular and Microbiology and Immunology Department at the University of Missouri, studying under Dr. Euless Adesoy. From the advancement in high-throughput sequencing and efficient microarray analysis, Global gene expression and analysis has become an easy and readily available form of data collection. In many research and disease models, however, steady state levels of target gene mRNA does not always directly correlate with steady state protein levels. Post-transcriptional gene regulation is a likely explanation of the divergence between the two. Driven by the interactions of RNA binding proteins, post-transcriptional regulation affects mRNA localization, stability, and translation by forming a ribonucleoprotein complex with target mRNAs. Identifying these unknown de novo mRNA targets from cellular extracts in this complex is pivotal to understanding the mechanisms and functions of the RNA binding protein and their resulting effect on protein output. This protocol outlines a method termed ribonucleoprotein immunoprecipitation, or RIP, which allows for the identification of specific mRNAs associated in the ribonucleoprotein complex. Before starting the experiment, it is critical to have all reagents, containers, and utensils RNAs free. Treat glassware with RNase inhibitor, such as RNA zap from Ambion, followed by rinsing with Depsy treated water. Ensure that all reagents are confirmed as RNase free. The first step of the procedure is to harvest the ribonucleoprotein complex from the cellular lysate. Harvest exponentially growing tissue cells to produce between 2 to 5 milligrams of total protein for each sample used. Usually, two P150 culture dishes are sufficient. Here,